Well, guys, never, ever, ever consider that I don't do enough for the channel because it's now 3 a.m. and I've decided to do another Hearts of Iron 4 video. Uh, as you can see over here near Finland, our armies are getting cut off, so I've decided to refocus them um, along this entire line, and I'm hoping they can escape this encirclement. If the enemy is stupid and doesn't attack us, we might actually be able to stop this massive assault um, over here. It's definitely big. It's definitely going to cause us problems, and we're doing everything we can to stop it. As for the Greek front, I mean, things are going pretty damn well, let's be honest. But I don't actually feel 100% confident that even if we take the Greek front, we're going to manage to get a victory necessarily um, against the Greeks. Uh, I'm, we'll have to see, of course. Uh, the Greek war spirit is actually quite high. So we're going to keep moving through Turkey, of course, trying to cut the Greeks off here. We'll try to take Istanbul if we can. And uh, a lot of this is going to be micromanaging because the Turkish front is actually pretty stable, uh, all things considered. And the sort of what I like to call the buffer state of uh, the Republic of Turkey right here is helping out a lot as well. So let's do that. We're also going to cut up north. See if we can just cut through some enemy lines. Over here, I'm also very concerned. The British are moving in, and the only way that we can even start to surrender is if we get our war goal below a certain level. And I'm trying to stop that eventuality. Um, it will happen, but before it happens, I want to make the world pay, and hopefully we can negotiate some deals for ourselves. As you can see, I brought almost all of our air corps over here uh, to help fight the allies, uh, but it's tough. It's really tough, guys. So, I don't really have any particular plans, except for just holding out in this area. We could build some land forts. In fact, I'm surprised I didn't think of that before. We might not have the actual ability to do so but let's start in a few of these provinces can't build them everywhere in bohemian moravia of course near munich and as you can see our conquest of greece has given tito's yugoslavia a tremendous amount of land so hopefully that's going to let, allow them to generate more and more troops but another thing we have to keep in mind is there are some greek troops over here and they're pissing me off because we know we have to deal with them, but we really can't. So I'm going to send these guys over. I hope that they're enough to deal with the enemy. I'm um, still trying to build as many units as possible. And we can drop a few. One, two, Polichnaya Divizia. Let's get increase the actual usefulness of this unit here. Give them a light tank. Give them an engineer company. Give them a support for anti-tank. So just add to our actual tank ability. We'll save... And I want to go and build a few of these. So let's train some of these. We're going to put them near Moscow, of course. And we're going to just wait on the rest. Gordonlo Tsaya Divizia is ready to go as well. Oh, nice. All right, guys. So we actually have a tiny little army here. Seven divisions. I'm going to concentrate them all in Moscow. And I'm going to bring all of our divisions here. It's going to take a while to build these guys, but I think it's worth it. And maybe these guys can be responsible for dealing with those invading Greeks. We'll see if we can get some more divisions built. Bogorichnaya Divizi. This is pretty good as is, but we'll increase it with some paratroopers. Some mountain troops as well. Or actually some rocket artillery and some mountain troops. Alright. Let's hope for the best, guys can't exactly crack these guys out immediately until they're well supplied but we can do our best and apparently oh no that iranian troop is not on our well he's on our side but he's not in our army unfortunately this romanian is though um, a lot of these troops here are green but that doesn't make a difference we're still gonna fight and let's see leningrad has been taken that is a great offense i'm going to try to cut through and take back leningrad I'm not sure how we're gonna do against these guys one on one not bad. But of course, that's a major loss for us in terms of war goals. I'm going to have to go for a major counterattack here. I'm just trying to split the enemy if I can. It might not be possible, but eventually we may just need to move this army back. Let them take East Germany, but we're holding them off from Berlin so well. It just seems like such a waste. Keep going, boys.
never surrender. Our boys are taking a hit. There's no doubt about it. Now over here, like I said, um, with the Greek front, we're doing really, really well. Pushing the enemy pretty much out of here. I'm going to hit this little head on, and I bet I could still beat it. And indeed, I think I am. Uh, we've got some tank units here. And these guys I'm going to send over here. Cut through Romanian territory to just try to basically cut them off. Because this is now annoying me. Ace pilot promoted, Valeri Ivanikov, a skilled pilot known under call sign Falcon, has distinguished himself in not only returning alive, but piloting his Tupolev 28 with immense skill. Very, very, very cool. We're getting a lot of different aces, etc. in this war. I mean, it's only a matter of time. We're fighting so many different men, I'm not that surprised. Alright, we're going to keep moving these tanks just behind enemy lines, like I said, trying to cut them off. French and Soviet troops working together. We constantly need to watch this front here. We're doing our best. But Leningrad remains out of our grasp. Alright, he's already on his way. what this is actually a perfect front line for 10 divisions it's not quite long enough we'll try this and see if it works and actually we didn't even select all the divisions let me try that again sorry this of course is going to take off a lot of our divisions actually i like just setting that many because if we select all we're taking a lot of divisions away from our main front so let's keep most of our guys here and hope for the best. Go ahead and try to hit their port again. They really are defending well now. They're not going to lose this war. And as you can see, all of our guys are at the Balkans. That's okay right now. That's my main focus is trying to take damn it. Greece back. All right, we're cutting them off very nicely here, guys. Slicing and dicing. We have a few uh, South African troops with them, apparently. Vive la France. Okay, let's pause for a sec. Take a look over here. This is what I'm worried about. See, the enemy's pushing a lot here. So we are going to have to go ahead and probably take this army... Sorry, what, uh, East Germany. We have bigger fr fish to fry. And go ahead and create a front line over here. It's a very tiny front line for such a huge army, but I think we're going to push through pretty well. We can't protect everybody, and actually, the sooner they get their war goal, the happier I'll be. So actually, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, if they take East Germany, oh well, it's just what the consequences we have to deal with. But Moscow is not something I want them to take. Alright, we're very close to Athens now. I would be very surprised if they left it unguarded, but they've surprised me in other ways before, so let's go ahead and push forward. And of course, these guys are pushing right to Istanbul. Everybody. These Bulgarians are just like, what the hell is going on in the world right now? They're so lucky they don't even realize it. And then again, I wonder how many refugees they're getting. Everybody to Athena. Greeks are happy to see some Russian soldiers here. Probably not. Let's see what's going on here. So I don't think the East Germans are going to hold the line very long, but it looks like the enemy is being very, very careful with their attacks. They're not just charging out immediately. Maybe they're willing to be reasonable. I doubt it. Gotta hit them in the few places where they're weak. 
and I think this is the only way we stand a chance of at least mucking up the lines a bit. As you can see, they've cut off some of our troops already. We're going to try to cut through here. Same here. A lot of British troops trying to cut us off, and more Norwegian troops here as well. I mean, they are doing everything they can. Even Irish troops trying to smash us. We're going to take these areas where they've basically left no one at all. It's the only way we can win this fight. Guerrilla tactics, but not the kind of guerrilla tactics we want because we're actually getting killed behind enemy lines. Oh, thank you, Iraq. Yeah, one division, why not? They want to lose one more man. That's not my business. Okay, very, very desolate war. Um, so still moving into the Hellenic Republic, and Athens is in our control. Look at that, guys. We're going to go ahead and take the rest of this area here, um, which would be, uh, of course, where Sparta used to be. But there's still a lot of Greeks fighting, and they have not capitulated entirely yet. So we need to keep moving forward. I'm guessing, I don't see where their new capital is. It's not Istanbul. It would never be Istanbul. That would be a disgrace to Greece, but uh, could be another area here. And I'm going to take this army, select all. draw an offensive line all the way to Istanbul. Let's do this, baby. Order the attack. Let's finish these Greeks off. And look at that. They're going to regret ever stepping onto Soviet territory. This is a true human wave assault here, and uh, it's going to be death to the Greeks. You capitulate whether you want to or not. I, that's much I can promise you. I don't know what this is going to do for our war goals, but it better do something. Like we better be able to uh, end the war and still get some concessions, I guess you could call them. I'm going to take this tank unit if we can get them away. No, we're already in battle, so we'll continue it. Why the hell not? A lot of justification of war goals. Tell me something I don't know. And we are at least moving uh, east pretty easily. Look at that port city. Let's take a look at the west. Ooh. West Germany is doing very good in pushing the east. But uh, this is the way the war goes. There's not much we can do. We can take a look at just how far we are into war goals here. So we can see, as you can see, the Hellenic Republic is very close to capitulation. Um, we've lost a lot, and we're actually close to capitulation ourselves. Um, just about everyone is. We're sick of this war, so are our people. No matter how scary our government is or how totalitarian, eventually we are going to have to accept defeat um, if something dramatic doesn't happen here. Look at that. We're beating a tiny army by the Hellenic Republic just because they have no supplies. They are getting some from that port. Which is one thing I definitely worry about. Istanbul! Go fast. It's gotta push them into a defeat if we take Istanbul. And this would, of course, free up our armies to do a lot of other stuff. And maybe even give the French coming back a lot of territory that they need. I'm not sure. Let me take a look up here. Yeah, they're still trying to fight through our lines. We're still kind of holding, not really. Um, Got to do some more probing attacks. See if we can smash the enemy here where they're weakest. They're actually sending Irish in to assist with this defense. Uh, this Norwegian defense, but we will keep fighting. We're still trying to break through our army, and incredibly, they're still managing to uh, break away a lot of enemy attacks. I'm, I'm even tempted to take one and just kind of be a dick and do that. <laughs> um, open up our lines a bit, but also confuse the enemy. Alright, Istanbul is tougher not to crack than we expected. Look how many divisions they have here dedicated to this defense, guys. And they also have a lot of Dutch divisions here fighting with them. It looks like they may hold us off. Yep, sure enough. So we're going to hit this weaker area here. 
just slowly work our way towards Istanbul. As you can, as you can see, this army is already almost there. What are you guys doing? This is not where I want you to go. I guess they're taking a different attack. Not the kind of attack I was hoping for. Well, we'll put some troops here so that we, at least we hold this area. And they don't try to bust through anymore. Okay, the Greeks have got to be ready to surrender. I mean, I can't see them fighting much longer here. Let's go to Anatolia. A lot of these guys are trying to get there. Some Dutch soldiers trying to get back as soon as possible. Well, let's take a look at the front of here. Let's take a look at the eastern front. The UK is still fighting through. It looks like our Iranian friends are the only ones helping us. Uh, but they're definitely pushing in um, to our very important territories. We'll take a look here. The UK is almost up to 1 million casualties and we can't ask for anything really yet. We're, we could try to get peace from the Japanese People's Republic but they won't accept it yet. Uh, it's hilarious. Uh, another communist government and they refuse peace. Uh, currently 18% in favor of them so we need to get that up to of course 50% I believe um, and then only then can we take that territory. Or I should say, I declare peace for that territory. Attack. I will not surrender. Keep attacking. We have supplies. They do not. This simple tactic is just why we will win the war. looking. Still a few Greek troops over here that refuse to capitulate. And they've got that British held. They've got a lot of factories here, so I definitely want to smash this area. And let's get these stragglers. Make them some good prisoners. A radar station in Greek control? We can't have that. It's actually quite funny. The Greeks are trying to cut us off here. Got 31 Brazilian divisions in this area, so we're gonna smash them. Everyone attacking at once here has got to do something. Got mountaineer troops, we can do this. Tito, where are your fucking troops to help? That's a good fight. A lot of Mexican troops in that fight. That's unbelievable. So, guys, we're trying to get as close as possible, but. The enemy is still remains elusive, and uh, we need to do what we can, but uh, time is not on our side, as you can see. And who knows what the Allies are going to do here, I'm not sure. Um, interestingly enough, it looks like the Republic of Italy is Italian, but they are part of, are going to turn uh, communist very, very, very soon. Um, so we have to hope for the best in this war. Obviously, it's not good for every anyone, but I don't see the enemy uh, surrendering or capitulating at all. Um, I mean, the Greeks, maybe, but the rest of them, I'm not sure. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and glory to the Soviets, no matter what the end.